Track to track. Okay, so we're looking at slot the next the, row. These next here. Row. Yeah, these four. Okay. And how to use them because I tried using this in GTC and I couldn't figure out how to make it work. So Spiger's going to explain the crap so I can try it. Okay. Let's go to slot diversity because that's the simplest. Mm -hmm. um, it allows only one item per slot in the entire inventory. So uh, to describe it, if you have five slots, only one slot is allowed to have um, a stick, for example. If there's more than one slot with a stick, it does not allow that. Uh, it, it blocks stick input in total. Um, but if there's only one slot, it only allows to fill that one slot up and no other slot. And that works only with hoppers or any outside interaction. User input is not applied to that. So the user could uh, cause a, um, a, a clock or something. Next one. Because I want to, 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 to explain the next one too, if you're from. Okay, uh, the next one is stack diversity upgrade. Basically, the same thing, but only one stack in total is allowed in capacity. That means, let's say you have 15 slots, and in slot one, two, three, four, five is sticks. They sum up just before one stack of items, like they are at 63. It allows to insert one item and not more because it's at 64 and that's a full stack. Oh, so um, you're saying that if I had 32 here, it would only allow 32 more to go in the second slot because it would only allow one full stack total. Yeah. Gotcha. It doesn't matter how many slots it combines, it's just only one stack. Okay, that's really useful. Next one. And the next one is the one that brought this all up because... I wanted to limit, let me go downstairs so I can show what it was I was trying to do. So if anybody's seen the stream where I was trying to do it, they'll know I was halfway right on what I was trying to figure out. So item limiter upgrade. One second, I need to look that up um, partly because I don't want to say anything false. Mm -hmm. Um. Basically, that's an extension to um, to the uh, uh, stack lim uh, stack diversity upgrade, which basically allows you to control how big the stack diversity is. You basically get your manual override. So you can control with that. Oh, I'm only allowed to have 16, it it's 16 maximum items instead of 64, for example. Of course, um, in this case, um, it is basically the manual override or, um, uh, or the minimum, like y you have to decide which one it is. That's basically, um, that, uh, that's. Oh crap. Yeah. That one's a 12. What's one that's 16 dag on it. I thought the food was 16. Yeah, but but one second. That's the next one that I wanted to explain. I thought the so, item okay. limiter is what I wanted. No, you want even better. There's a better Oh, there's that's a better one than that? You. Yeah, that's the next one. Stack limit upgrade. Basically, the item limiter, but you can define the stacks and the stack size per item. Oh. And all of these apply only to world um, insertion, not user insertion. Yeah, this is all through automation. Yeah, basically hoppers, uh, ducts, uh, upgrades, or uh, anything like that. But these two upgrades rely on the stack or a stack diversity upgrade. Um, side inventory. Oh, motherfucker. Now that's, yeah. that's going to be awesome for this. Because, see, I was thinking I was going to have to make one centrifuge for the 12s, one centrifuge for the 16s, yep. one for each different limit. This is going to be awesome. 
And I think, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, and I think you can even put multiple of the same type in. I think. Mm. So um, you can have multiple stack upgrades in. Um, not all of them stack, but some of them do. The stack limiter and item limiter, but rely on the uh, stack diversity upgrade. So oh, so I have to diversity. put this in before yeah, either of these will work. Because they are only extensions. They don't do things on their own. Oh, okay. That because makes sense then. That way you don't need to take them out all at the same time to just enable and disable the, fact, the feature. You just take the uh, limiter itself out. Um, yeah, that, that's the explanation for that. Okay. And that is also the reason why the, uh, the machine tool exists. This and I don't have to group. use the automation upgrade to make these work. No, no, no. Automation upgrade is for access for slots. That's a completely different sector. Like Okay, that's, that's the one where if I wanted to output from the top and this doesn't allow output to the top, I could force it to allow yeah. it. Okay. Basically. Okay. All right. So that's it for this little answer question session thing i hope that helps anybody i am going to be using these on this server and my gtc so if y'all want to see that done in uh extension in a long form stay tuned for that i am going to try to tap the resource of spider's brain from time to time and get us little nuggets of info like this when i can so hope y'all enjoy that